Hello, Libra. Welcome to the world of Brandy. She's still functioning. So remember to hit the notification bell so you know that I've uploaded something. This is your mid-March 2020 reading. And whatever pops out of these three decks, trust me, is going to be something that intertwines your life. Okay, give me something for Libra, please. And out the gate. Out the gate. Something is void, of course. Something is missing in your plan of action here. And you cannot move forward without you recognizing this. We'll connect all this in a moment. What's that? Diving for light. Right, trying to find that missing piece. Okay, we're going to read both of these, and then we'll connect those dots. Huh. Something that you just can't put your finger on, and it's like definitely dwindling on your soul, but... There's real growth and protection there. The moon is a friend for the lonesome to talk to. I, I don't make these about really, I do whatever comes out most of the time, but this is about a relationship. Like missing. Like your soul really wants someone. All is not as it seems. The mood card can be daunting. It may not be a good or appropriate time to answer your question as it's now the results may not be what you want. The moon travels through the entire zodiac in 27 and a half days. There's a moment when the moon makes its last major aspect before leaving one sign and entering to the next. It's as if the moon has gone to sleep. Her wisdom is being withheld and she moves into a new sign. Nothing will come of the matter. Matters will not go as planned. In fact, most of the time it will end up far worse than you planned. You have been caught blissfully unaware. You've missed something or you weren't paying close enough attention, but you won't be able to see the situation right at its current time. It car the card says to sit still and stay as you are. Take no action. Wait for the storm to pass. It's time to be patient and allow matters to settle before beginning anew. Allow the matter to resolve on its own without any help or interference. Don't bill anyone out or make loans currently. It's unlikely you will be repaid. Medical results will probably not be accurate. If your question is about a job or career move, this is not the right one. If you apply for a job and get hired, it will not be long-lasting. It's possible you'll get hired and then a more suitable job will come along and you'll have to leave for that one. After a long and costly effort, your matter in question may fail. People around you may start behaving like screw-ups. It could be that great passions are playing against you. Discipline is needed. It's not a time to act impulsively. Whatever you do, as your routine will stay as it is. However, matters that are unplanned and spontaneous will tend to work out for you. Okay. It could be used to your benefit. Keep that in mind as this car shows in the spread. You can work on something you really don't want. You can interact with people you don't really want to become a fixture in your life. Embarking on anything new or untired will tend to go wrong. <coughs> it's a good time to dream and make plans. Just don't act on them. Do not act on them. <coughs> you need to give it a week. 11 days to a week to 11 days and then you can start this so one week and 11 days do spontaneous things how brave are you you're diving for light it can be so much simpler to seek light in the heavenly and that which is blissful sweet loving and kind to look for the light in which the dark is an advanced task that only a rebellious and brave heart will attempt you may not feel that what you've taken is such a journey by choice, yet you've taken this wise challenge on from a deep within your soul. Your innermost being has invoked the situation of your life of the intention to grow in power. Speaks of a time when you are called into darkness through life circumstances, situations, relationship challenges, or inner struggles that defy clear understanding. The darkness might be a creative block, a sense of being in a void, or feelings of depression, rage, sadness, fear, and anxiety, which is understandable with what's going on. If like me, because my rising is Libra, I have set everything into plan. I have bought these tickets. I have paid for things. I just needed money to travel on. Everything is in limbo right now, and I'm very upset, but I'm going with the flow, and I'm doing things as can. I'm not planning anything else at this moment, though. Right? There may or may not be an obvious cause. The darkness might be generally accepted and socially acknowledged because there is a socially acceptable or obvious reason for it, such as a death, divorce, or, or retrenchment. 
However, there may be no obvious justification of your experience of darkness. You might not need a reason to be able to accept it. You might struggle to find an unconditional acceptance. The void. Just know that you are actually on track and right where you're supposed to be. This void was part of your course by the divine. One must be willing to bear the darkness and understand it has a purpose, like winter does upon the earth. It's an error or through lack of consciousness that you are here now. Mm. It is although you are powerful, you are also vulnerable. You need to be alert to sabotage and criticism that make my blah, 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 that may make your progress more difficult than it already is. That would be rather unnecessary. At least some of the people around you might be more attached to their fear and doubt than to faith in your process in the ways of the creative rebellious spiritual path you can choose to be inspired by your journey or frightened by it you're free to respond as you wish and whatever those responses are they are part of the journey for them to work through you are the voice that may not expect and particularly if you're a pure heart of being who typically resonates with love these voices or feelings might surprise you with their dark intensity they may be feelings of hate terror or wanting only to sleep because anything further is all just too hard it can Contain vicious criticism of yourself or tell you that your inner creative work is pointless, unoriginal, not worth it, or stupid. They might try to tell you that you are on the wrong path, that you'll fail. Who the hell do you think you are is exactly what you need to say to those voices in these circumstances. You gotta stay in your heart. Stay compassionate. Fear creates the energy of anger, hate, and destructiveness. It's a part of life. We don't have to be frightened of them, nor do we need to deny their existence or try to ignore them in order to find the light. We just need to hold compassion and be intelligently aware so we can avoid being seduced into the trap of needing to prove ourselves or into the mistaken belief we need to fight against the darkness. It's a spiritual test, a threshold for all true creative work. We successfully navigate our way through this test and pass the threshold into a new creative birth by staying connected to the light. So right now, amidst this chaos, this media-induced pandemic, okay, because let's be honest, yes, yes, it is crazy. It is serious. But the United States, sorry, the UK, the United States are always more prepared than other countries, okay? We are intelligent and we are on top of the game, no offense to anyone. If you're not in these countries, you are still smart enough. One, two, three, four is on the clock. Just so you know. Synchronicity. Um, you just have to be vigilant. You have to be smart, you know. But keep living life, okay? We may be thrown off course right now by force. We feel it's a dark interception. You have to find the light in what's going on, okay? Maybe a loved one is traveling abroad and, like, now you don't know what to do. Because they're kind of stuck. You know what I mean? Like I said, one week to 11 days. One week to 11 days. That is the time frame I'm giving you. Play around. Don't be distraught. Just don't plan anything. Do things that you wouldn't normally do, Libra. Alright, that was super easy. <laughs> Did you know that when you stop fighting and accept everything exactly as it is right now, miracles will start to happen? There's a freedom in this kind of radical acceptance. Let go of unrealistic, unrealistic expectations and see things as they really are. Not how you'd like them to be. You'll be surprised at how everything seems to fall into place. I've had a very hard time speaking lately. Sorry. When you refuse to accept things, life gets messy. You act messy and your world stays in chaos, tension, and disarray. But don't try to force a change or manipulate a circumstance. Instead, learn about what is in front of you and face it with your eyes fully open. Then you can decide, stay or go, sink or swim, move or stay still. Acceptance is the key to freedom and opens the door to the real opportunity waiting to be discovered. Set yourself and others free. Do not give in to the fear. Do not give in to the darkness. Yes, this plan may be uh, abruptly on hold. That was for a reason. All right. Love and light, my friends. Stay good. Stay positive. Be kind to others. Hit that notification bell. Leave a comment. I'll catch you later.